Hey everybody, it's me, Magic Keys, aka Fancakes, and today I am making a video. Um, if you're one of the 90% of people not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. You won't regret it because it's not like I'm gonna bother you much, anyways, because I only post a video like once every few weeks, so yeah. Anyways, so today's video is going to be kind of another hard one to make. My last one was pretty hard to make as well. Um, I just... I know I made the other video about Eugenia. And I do agree with the points I made in it, obviously, still. And I actually did not receive as much hate as I thought I would, so yay for that. I was expecting that to be, like, a dramatic video where everyone was going to go and attack me for it. But there are just a few more things that I wanted to say as the week progressed. As you know, if you're keeping up with Eugenia's streams... Um, it feels like, to me, that she's kind of rapidly declining again, if that makes any sense. Like, I already knew she was declining, but for something about these past few weeks, I feel like it's accelerating, like it just, I don't know, I feel like a big jump just, like, happened. <laughs> and I am kind of, I'm kind of addressing this video to Eugenia. Um, if she ever sees this, I'm not sure if I want her to see this, but I'm gonna leave a little message for her about right now and stuff. <laughs> so, anyways, um, sorry if I seem nervous. Hey. <laughs> anyways, um... So Eugenia, if you're ever watching, which I don't know if you would, I, I feel like this is something that you would just write off as hate or unnecessary or something, but um, I do really care about you. A lot of us do, even that subreddit cares about you, which I know the subreddit can hurt you, but people there are really speaking in a heart of concern and love and they they give more of a f more of a frick about you than all y all the mods and people that watch your streams um your mods they never even knew you had a problem they're willing to let you die for you to keep watching them, you know, and not just the mods, but the, the Twitch viewers and some of the YouTube comment section. Um, and although we would miss you, Eugenia, I think the best thing for you to do right now is to take a deep look at everything you're going through right now and to step away from the internet and go into a treatment center again, which there is debate about your your willingness to go, but I know you've made some progress in there. I don't want to say it's gone, but it it's gone. <laughs> um... This is this is really hard to make. I'm sorry, <laughs> but anyways, um, it's time for you to go for longer. I know when I was anorexic, it took me months. Even when I was willing to try, it took me months and years to get to a kind of place where I am now. 
where I can eat food comfortably and I can look at my body normally. Obviously, there's better days than others, but I say I've been more fully recovered for two years. Um, and that took a long time and a lot of hard work. And there was a lot of relapses, but the difference is, Eugenia, I don't want to sound too dark <laughs> and morbid. I, recovery is not linear, but your body does not care if it's linear. Um, and I don't want to diss your recovery or anything, but it <laughs> kind of feels like you never really had one. Or didn't try. I'm not saying you never tried, but it just feels like you went into treatment, got the weight needed, and then came out and declined again. Not that I want to be, I, I don't want to be too negative about it because maybe you did try. I don't know, but to me, it just it just feels like you got really good at hiding again, and all the attention for coming back, both the negative and positive, were both evil here, evil in quotations. I think the only evil side are the people right now being like, what? She's not as bad as she was in the Kyrie video. I don't see a problem here. Oh, oh, it's none of your business. You know that's 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 the real problem. That's the real problem, people. Those are the people who don't care about you, even though you see them as your fans and your supporters. And it, it's it's really hard to hear. But anyways, um, I'm trying to be quiet as well because it's kind of late. <laughs> but anyways, um. I'm so weird. But you need to get off the internet again for longer than six months. Go into a rehab longer than a month. You need to see a therapist, intensive outpatient, you know, all that stuff. And when you said in that Katie Morton video, you were not seeing a therapist anymore. I, I just knew then. Because, like, I still kind of try to deny the fact, like, I I kind of see where some of the fans are coming from, where they just have, like, so much blind hope and all of that that they don't want to believe the bad, but some of them aren't like that, but, anyways, um, so, you need to leave again and maybe not even ever come back <laughs> not that I wouldn't want you to come back but the internet just feels like too much of a toxic place for you right now I don't think it's something that you can handle like either it's the positive comments or the negative comments you know, they both have this pressure on you, and you felt the need to share your story and all that stuff. And it's just, sorry, my hair is being annoying. <laughs> and you relapsed, and you you need help again. I knew from the beginning that you probably came back too soon, but. We were all in some kind of blind hope, and when you made that video with Shane, and you came back and in February, when you made the post, like, yeah, I'm gonna see a doctor soon, I was really happy, because in the Kyrie video, you, you really seemed like you were going to die, and all I wanted was a beautiful recovery story for you, even though that's, that's not really a thing. And, yeah. <laughs> but, I I don't want to be morbid, but I feel like you're back to the Kyrie point again. Some people are going to deny that, being like, oh, she looks, she looks better than that, it's all fine. Like, also, 
frick those people too that are just like recovery queen you're such a recovery queen like she doesn't look as bad so there's no problem like she's clearly she's clearly declining mentally and physically and everyone's just being too I guess scared to trigger her which from an ex-anorexic and myself both comments are triggering I don't blame anyone for saying anything triggering um it's I guess it's not really our responsibility because no matter what we say or what we do it's going to trigger her The comments being like, oh yeah, recovery, woo, and oh, you look so healthy, which I would never ever say. You know, some people are like that, or the questions, or the she looks so pretty and beautiful, or, or the comments being like, she's skinny, she's, lo she's losing weight, she's... she's relapsing. Like, that's, that's, that, I'm, I'm gonna admit it, I'm probably triggering her right now, but... Everyone is. I'm not saying it's right. But I wanted to reach out to her and I don't know, maybe she would listen to me. Maybe that's naive. Because I used to be in like that inner circle of Twitch fans or you now fans. Like I was kind of a bit different because I kind of joined the community to kind of like troll troll as in I wasn't being negative I was just I was just being really weird and my goal was like yes I'm gonna confuse Eugenia by saying the most random stuff ever and that's who I am and I've defended Eugenia multiple times I used to say things like people should stop commenting on her and stuff but I don't really agree with that anymore I don't know there's nothing we can do either way. But, um, I feel like Eugenia really is going into a dark place again. She has been. I think I'll insert some photo clips of her now. So, trigger warning for that. A lot probably already happened, so. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to think of all I wanted to say in this, because I, it's late, and I just, I just, I just needed to kind of vent, almost, because, like, I do really care, but I, I don't have any hope for a miracle, um, I really want one because she's a really sweet and kind person and I just have an overload amount of empathy I don't know but I'm just waiting for bad news at this point because she doesn't have a stable support system she's not seeing a therapist I doubt she would still be seeing a doctor at that point family I'm not gonna diss her family if she ever watches but they're obviously at the very least they don't know how to handle it so they keep quiet about it at the very least there's no Jacqueline Glenn I still keep hoping for like a surprise person like I don't know I hope Shane Dawson does something I think he's one of the only people left but I don't see that happening either <laughs> she'd probably shut him out faster or he'd probably feel too I guess awkward to bring it up I don't know 
and maybe this is just my negative viewpoint of the world, but I feel like, uh, I feel like he just used her for the video and then I don't really ever see him really talking to her again. <laughs> That's pretty messed up to say. I'm just assuming things. I could be totally wrong. Don't attack me, Shane stands. Uh, but yeah. Um... Um, but yeah, Fricker fans, I used to be a part of that, I know, but I was a teenage girl. I still am a teenage girl. I was in middle school. Um, I've woke, awakened my eyes now in a more recovered state, in a more logical state. Recovered in many ways. I'm no longer depressed. But anyways, <laughs> um, I hope Eugenia somehow sees this, although I don't make much sense, but she remembers me in the streams and maybe my words can mean something to her in some way. I think she needs love right now. Not enabling, but love. And... Yeah. I'm not- I'm not- I'm not even sure what I'm even talking about in this video, but... We got something here. Maybe. Eugenia, I just hope that you take what I say and really realize that while this disorder is hard and it's sucky and it makes you your reality warped and stuff, I experienced it. Obviously, I was not in a state as Eugenia for many reasons. One, I have hypothyroid disorder, which means losing weight for me would be very hard so when I was anorexic I did I did lose weight but I did not lose dramatically two I got help quicker or I helped myself quicker three um I'm kind of an outlier type of person I have a lot of resilience and stuff so things that I feel like other people don't deal with as well I can I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah I hope she takes what I say and realizes that we do care it's concern um we see her going down a very bad hill soon and we do not we do not want to lose Eugenia Cooney we do not want to lose such a beautiful kind sweet amazing awesome spectacular fantastic talented with the makeup she's really talented with makeup we don't want to lose a person like that you know she just and I know that the sweetness, it, it's really toxic to be that way because you need to have boundaries and you need to have grits and you need to have the ability to say no and you need to be able to express your other emotions but even still, she's still really sweet and caring and yeah. We love you, Eugenia. We just really want you to have the recovery story that you deserve. We don't want you to disappear from this world. And 
and to the fans that enable this, frick you guys. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna say for now, because I don't want to get upset. Because this, this is really upsetting for me. But I love Eugenia, just, just keep fighting the fight, and please speak to someone and step away from the web. That's all guys, um, <laughs> this feels wrong to put, but if you do want to subscribe, it's there. Most of the people that watch don't subscribe, which is fine, but it's there if you want. And I'm going to ask people to try to share this with Eugenia in some way, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is a good thing for her to see or not, but I just, I just really want her to know that someone's there and this is the most that I can do since I don't know her personally. So, yeah. Adios, amigos.